I I have like lost for words about this interview I just did with Dr. Rob Kelly. I am a little bit choked up, a little bit tearing up <clears throat> over this conversation of <laughs> neural pathways and brain and whatever and trauma, but a lot about how his life transformed from being homeless for 14 months and losing his wife, his family, his house, his career, and how God showed up and helped him just change the whole thing. And I, I mean, I had literally got chills throughout my body and started tearing up like I am right now, because when I see the strength and the power of God and people, right, the way we end up showing up um, and then impacting the world with our stories, right? I, I want you who are going to watch this to understand that no matter what you're going through in life, there is always a, a way to use your mess into a message, your trauma into helping someone else's trauma. And I am completely like just taken aback at the blessing of this conversation. So I cannot wait for you to be impacted too. So here we go. What's up, party people? This is Nina Perez, and this is Straight Talk and No Sugar Added. And I want to welcome you to our space here, because you know I go around the amazing planet of ours, finding the best humans I can find to come on here to grow, challenge, and transform your thinking. So to somebody for you, I already love his energy. Just the two seconds we were talking, so I can't wait. Okay, today we have the privilege of hearing from Dr. Rob Kelly. He is a mentor and a guide to aspiring entrepreneurs, a staunch advocate for investing in startups, and a dedicated expert in addiction recovery. Now, with a background in trauma training and a passion for family centered solutions, Dr. Rob's insights into business fundamentals and addiction resolution are invaluable. That's why I'm glad he is here. So I want you to come on, come on, y'all have this great conversation with me and Dr. Rob, because I cannot wait to get into this. And I'm really, really glad you're here, Dr. Rob. Thank you for joining us today. It's a pleasure to be here. Hey guys, great to be here. Sit down and listen. It's going to yes. be funny. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> You see, we could tell that you are already an expert because you're like, sit down and listen, like just shut up and sit down and listen. <laughs> That's how the experts show up. I want to thank you for being here, Dr. Rob. And, you know, I have a really great community of a lot of entrepreneurs, aspiring entrepreneurs, coaches. That's the people that listen to the show. Mm -hmm. And um, so just to kick off like we like always do, do, I like them to know you. So tell us a little bit about you, Dr. Rob. Who, who are you? So my name is Dr. Rob. I'm an, like an addiction doctor and also help uh, lots of people build businesses and brands and stuff like that. Uh, I specialize in neuroscience, psychology mm. and behavioral science. And uh, we, we take you deep into the neuroscience uh, to build you, uh, change you. We rewire brains and circuitry uh, to put you into that 100% uh, of your own capability and capacity. Most people walk around hitting 55 to 60% of what they're capable of doing because of the childhood trauma and the lack of belief that they can actually do whatever and, and be whoever they want to be. Uh, and most people think it's not true. It's true. It's 100% true. I guarantee it. You know, um, learning about rewiring the brain, neuroscience and all that. And, and I'm not an expert at all, but just diving into that in my own life has really transformed the traumas in my life. It really helped me to realize that the traumas actually became my superpower. And it actually made me not weep and cry every time I had to talk about a trauma. And I, I got to tell you, Dr. Rob, that is super powerful. And the fact that you are also using it and angling it to help entrepreneurs, but also recovery right? Or an addiction, which is huge and so hard. I mean, I just want to ask you off the gate, you know, being that this is your space and this is your expertise, how are you seeing the world today? Because I feel like most of us are walking around medicated these days or addicted yes. to something. So talk to me a little bit about that. Two things, that have, well, three things that have really 
uh, America and I'm sure around the world is uh, the food we eat, the 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 uh, the iPods and iPads and iPhones that we're on 24 hours a day. That's a lack of uh, social socialized with other people. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're the big the, the biggest things. Uh, you have to realize that uh, the, the mind is very powerful. So the mind sits inside the brain, hence the, hence the saying mind over matter. The brain is matter. Mm. So imagine if we could program our mind every morning when we get up by doing three simple things that would release into the brain as a neural pathways pick that up and the behavioral system picks that up and you could have a great day. Every time. Can you imagine? Well, you don't need to imagine anymore. It's, it, it's what we specialize in. You can program the mind every day to move forward and the belief like I, I always say, Nina, I say you could be anybody you want to be. And years ago, they, 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 what they'd say straight back is, well, I can't be president of the United States. Well, forget your political views for a second, guys. We had a business in running the country with no political experience whatsoever. So don't come to me and tell me that you can't achieve your wildest dreams. It's just not true. In actual mm -hmm. fact, I want to apologize to you because somebody's put that there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so good. So good. And so true. And so, of course, you already alluded to it. So I'm going to ask, I'm going to poke Dr. Rob, I'm going to poke. <laughs> so you, you talked about the three things. But before we get into the three things, what what was your journey, Dr. Rob? Because some, something got you here, right? There, there was a reason. There's a reason why you decided this field, why you decided to be an expert in this. So so talk to me about that. What is that? I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I want to get into all of that. <laughs> the nitty gritty. I'm so glad you asked that. Yeah, yeah. So I was born in Manchester, UK. Uh, grew up, uh, you know, in a poor, very poor family, uh, but loving family. I always wanted to be a, a musician. So at the age of nine, I'm on stage with my musical family playing. Um, I had one gig in Liverpool. I was very nervous, and my uncle gave me a beer to drink mm. to calm me down. <clears throat> that kicked off my alcoholism. So alcoholics are born, drug addicts are made. Okay, so the moment I took that, it was a ticking time bomb. During that period, I lost my children, my house, my cars, my wife, my medical practice, my my insanity, and ended up from a beautiful lifestyle to living on the streets. I, li I lived on the streets for 14 months, fighting, fist fighting every day to stay alive. Um, and I stayed there for 14 months, and it was hell. It was absolute hell, and I drank myself to death, uh, almost and on uh, seven suicide attempts and on two occasions i died on the streets of manchester guys so when people see me take chances now i said i don't give a crap what are you going to do to me what already happened to me yeah so you know when you when you're 10 you just alluded to it. when we take our past and look at it as shame and guilt and remorse no 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 that past of me being on the street was like a semester at harvard university going forward i used it as my greatest asset because mm -hmm. I promised myself, first of all, there's more to this than meets the eye here, psychologically. We don't know enough about the brain pertaining to addiction and success, whatever that looks like for you. And I swore if I got off the streets, I would start helping people and helping their families. Because the family system, if you're an entrepreneur or an addict sufferer, if, unless the family is involved, which your success rate yeah. goes up by 42% straight away, then you're going to fail. So talk to me about that journey for you, because, you know, I'm thinking somebody might be listening to this and are feeling the same way, Dr. Rob, like, you know, maybe they are entrepreneurs, but they're drinking way more than they should. And they're about to, they don't know how to stop that. Right. Because I think one of the things, I, I mean, you, you can probably tell us more about this. Like for me, you know, my addiction for a long time was food, right? Because of all the trauma in my life, I, I ran to sugar, you know, um, that's, that was my drug of choice. Um, and, you know, as even as an adult now, there's something that I'm now fixing and changing in my life, but it, I'm 51, right? So what I, what I say that to say is, yes, you were on the streets for, you said 18 months. So I know, and you said you were drinking yourself to, to almost to death or to death, actually to death. Right. Um, and so I want people to be encouraged that, you know, there is a tomorrow, there's a way to look at this. There's a way to shift. So what was that for you? Did somebody talk to you while you were on the street? Did you start looking back into some of the knowledge you had prior? I mean, tell me about that. I had a big spiritual awakening that, uh, most people know about in the industry. It's, uh, it was on, when I was homeless, I, uh, I was crawling around the streets because I was just coming round, hands and knees, crying like a baby. 
Um, and uh, I looked up to the sky and said, as an atheist, if there's a God up there, I can't do this, this on my own anymore. 30 seconds later, a guy in the middle of nowhere, factories and offices only, two o'clock in the morning, they came around the corner, he's Mrs. Lasper's home from Bible study. Uh, he said, do I need help? I said, yeah, I'm dying. He took me back to his house and he took me to a 12-step meeting the next day. And I met a guy called John. I went to John's house, or apartment, for 12 weeks. Every Wednesday, wow. 12 weeks, I used to go around there. And after I finished, uh, I was this amazing person. Uh, so much so that everything he said come true, came true. And uh, I went back to, to give him a little teddy bear present and a card a month after I finished the 12 weeks. And we couldn't find him. The neighbor said there'd been no one living in that apartment. And the, the left-hand neighbor said, if you walk in that apartment, you'll drop through to the bottom. There's no floor. It's derelict. Um, and we've never found that man since 30 years ago. But the stuff that's happened and what I gained from him has turned around everything that we do pertaining to the addiction side. It's all about the neuroscience, not about the alcohol. Everyone thinks the addiction is the food, the cake, the, the sex, the porn, the alcohol, the drug. It's not. Al let's just say alcohol. Alcohol has 1% to do with alcoholism and the same with every other addiction. It's not what you think it is. I have a, 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 a drinking problem. No, you have a thinking problem. I have a food problem. No, childhood trauma is the gateway drug. Let's go back to the scene of the crimes and clear that up. Most people who have an eating problem today were somehow starved or, or not given enough or shut in the corner with chocolate bars or candy bars to shut you up while they had adult conversations. There's always that trauma, childhood trauma. We need to go back to the scene of the crime. We need to uncover it, discover it's about, and discard of it. And unless you do them three things, going back and working on your childhood trauma, you will never heal and you will always be miserable and you will always fail at stuff and you'll never be the person that you want to be and you get into this routine and routine and routine and eventually most people give up i've seen people die at 40 but live till 60 if that makes right. sense, yes, it makes sense. Nice. sense. And, and if you're sat on going well you know it's okay for you like i'm i'll be 63 in four weeks two years ago i decided to change my life i lost 157 pounds in the last two years at 50 at 61 wow. okay don't tell me i'm too old or don't tell me yeah i can't do it. don't tell me any of that crap because it's not true guys in actual fact let me apologize to you somebody's put that there okay but it's just not true and and you have to realize that today <laughs> stop putting off everyone thinks they have time nina nobody has time no Mama, no, no where was you waving your kid off to kindergarten next minute you wave off to we don't have time do it today. Yeah. I, you know, that's one of the things that I always talk about is we're not promised tomorrow, but I wanted to pause Dr. Al, because when you were talking about the angel that you met, um, literally chills went through my whole body and my eyes started to well up because God is so good. God is so good. Right. So I'm, I'm like, Ooh, I'm tearing up. Whoa, that's crazy. But I think it's because I'm looking at you, right? I'm, I'm hearing your expertise and I'm also thinking about the one person that will be listening to this, that will have their life affected by it, right? And that always is so empowering to me yes. because it's not about the millions of people, Dr. Rob, and it's not about like all of the, you know, the, the celebrity status or whatever have you, but the one, the freaking one, like, because you were the one. <laughs> so like, right, like you were the one that, that God decided to, you know what, even if you don't believe in me, I'm going to be here for you and I'm going to change your entire freaking life. And then you don't know if the other one, the other Dr. Rob somewhere out there is listening to this right now. So I just had to pause and acknowledge that 100%. because it, it choked 100%. me up. It choked me yes. up. So just thank you for sharing that. That's so freaking powerful. Thank you for that. That was, um, a, brief, that was a brief of what it happened. He went, he went deep in that. He's more crazy than that. I wouldn't tell this for 20 years, Nina. You know, but nowadays okay. I don't come onto podcasts to sell my wares. I, it's not you visit this, we'll give you. I'm not interested. If, if you want to come find me, great. If you don't, I don't give a crap. Uh, I have enough money, I have enough everything in the world. I, I give 25% of, of my fortunes and earnings every year away to charity. You know, if you want to go buy the book, I'm not telling you what it is or what it is, go find it. If you can't afford it, text me. I'll, I'll send you a signed copy and pay uh, for the postage and everything because here's the deal. And I love what you said, Nina, one person. If one person has a difference. And it always reminds me of the guy that walked to the Golden Gate Bridge and threw himself up and committed suicide. 
When the police dragged him out of the water, they found ID, they went back to his apartment to search for the next of kin. When they got there, they found a letter on the table and it read, I'm going to walk to the Golden Gate Bridge and throw myself off and commit suicide unless on the way there, somebody smiles at me, says hello. In that case, I will stop and turn back. My question is to you guys is this. How many people have you walked past today heading to the Golden Gate Bridge? Oh, see, we don't know. A smile, high five, what a compliment. Yeah. Hey man, yeah. Yeah. Save yeah. A life. And we yeah. need to realize that what we say and do and act around other people, that's what God has taken through. All this shit we went through. He's taken my homelessness was like a semester at Harvard University, like I said. You know, if that one person had come around the corner, if, 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 you know, I've worked with over 8,000 people in the last 30 years and I've continued to do it. But there's not one time I walk past a person and mm -hmm. don't compliment them or mm -hmm. say hi or smile. Mm -hmm. They could be heading to the Golden Gate Bridge, guys. And that's how you get to save a life on a daily basis. That's so true. And you know what, uh, Dr. Rob, I had that same kind of story in high school. This girl was really severely, severely bullied. And I stopped one day just to talk to her. I didn't know who she was, but I sat with her on the ground and she was like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just talking to you. you know, how are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. And at the end of that year, she told me that because I stopped to talk to her, she didn't commit suicide that day. She was going to commit suicide. So you are a hundred percent right. A hundred percent right. And I think you know, this, th these stories are really impactful because I want all of you who are listening to listen to Dr. Rob, we're going to talk about the brain. I want to get into that and the three steps that you should, you could take, but I promise you that your life has value. And so does your neighbor's life have value. And so does that next person's life have value? Because uh, as, as uh, uh, Dr. Rob just told us the story about the golden uh, bridge, right? Like we have to remember that sometimes we need that smile too. Sometimes we need that encouragement and we have to start working on ourselves. We cannot constantly be victims to things that have happened to us. I'm telling you, and I'm sure you can, I mean, like you said, this was Harvard University. I was homeless as well. It was also Harvard University to me because I promise you that everything that comes to try to destroy you will be the thing that helps you move forward and to impact the lives of others. I know it that I know it. So Dr. Rob, talk to us about that. Like if somebody's going through a place right now where they're just like, woe is me, or I can't do this, or this is too much or whatever have you at least give us one of the three. I want something impactful that they can pull and take with them um, to start transforming their, their thinking, their mind, their lives. Give us something there, Dr. Rob. So most people are in patterns and they're in patterns of self-sabotage from the past. Now, what does a pattern look like? Let's say you get on a bus and you, with a bunch of kids or a bunch of adults, you go to the seaside, you get some beers, you have a fantastic day. When you get on the bus, which seat do you sit in? You sit in the same one, you travel there. That's an easy explanation of, uh, of what to do. So there's a couple of things missing in the human body. One is oxygen. The other one is uh, changing your pathways. And the other one is uh, making sure that we stay in that capacity. So let me explain to you. The subconscious brain where all the crap is, wakes you up every morning. That guy wants to kill you. That guy wants you to give up. That guy tells you you're a piece of crap. You'll never amount to anything. You will never be blonde enough, tall enough, thin enough, or rich enough. That guy mm -hmm. wakes us up. Do you know what I want you to do mm -hmm. tomorrow morning? I want you to take 20 exaggerated breaths in and out before you do anything. <laughs> okay? <laughs> we only breathe 35 to 40% of our lung capacity. The presence of oxygen equals the lack of disease. Every disease, mm -hmm. including cancer, that grows in a hypoxic area of the body. So if you only breathe 35 to 40%, the reason why you feel so good going to the gym is not the exercise, it's this in between sets. So tomorrow morning, nobody's ever woke up laughing in from the sleep ever because lack of oxygen. So tomorrow morning, when you're going to get up, <laughs> it's you exaggerate your breath in and out. You're going to go dizzy. Bear with me here, bear with me, okay? So when we do that, here's a conscious mind, it's here somewhere, because this guy wants to wake you up depressed, okay? When you do your 20 breaths in and out, exaggerated breaths in and out, it kills the subconscious brain. Now this guy's running the show, They're here today, the conscious brain, this mm. guy's gonna kill it today. This guy's gonna be kind. This guy, everything he touches turns to gold. This guy, okay? But have a guess, tomorrow, who wakes you up? It's this guy again. So every day we do that. Then we walk into the bathroom 
okay? If you brush your teeth with your right hand, one week left, one week right, one week left, what, just 30 days, that four weeks, that's all we need. We're changing neural pathways up from the pattern of self-sabotage. Next thing, the last thing I want you to do is the subconscious brain needs to be spoken to. This is how we usually do it. God, drop a pen on the floor, you stupid idiot. Oh my goodness, you just crucified yourself for life. Okay, so let's talk to the subconscious brain. I need you to stand six feet away from the mirror and say, I love you 10 times. And the reason we say six feet is because when you get close to the mirror, you see all your blemishes. That's not how people see you, but you think oh. they do. When's the last time you went in the office, guys? Hey, Jimmy, good to see you. Oh. Nobody does that. But when you stand six feet away, you get to see what other people see. And oh. that is beauty. And that is power. And do the I love you. Ten, I love you. I love you. I 10 times every morning. Let's start building that subconscious brain and walk out that door and compliment three people. Okay? Let's get some free dopamine for him and for you. And if you don't think complimenting people works, try this next time you know, built a pair of feet. Does. Sneakers are always the best. Someone's walking towards you. Hey, man, nice sneakers. Four words, guys. Hey, man, nice sneakers. He's going to go, oh, thank you, man. Turn around. Watch him walk away from you. He's going to look down his sneakers at least two to three times. Now you've just made his day. But what you don't see, guys, is now he goes on to his girlfriend or wife and because he's in a great mood, now she's in a great mood. Then the mother-in-law calls and you get the gist. That's what you need to do every single day. Your life will change drastically because this guy is not running a show. This guy is so going to fail because so you good. haven't healed your gateway drug, which is known as childhood trauma. That's so damn good. Big. Good. <laughs> That's so damn good. Okay. I'm like, Dr. Rob, I never heard anybody tell me the, the six feet from the mirror, the, the, the mirror thing. That's so damn good. I mean, yeah. because usually I, you know, I go a little bit closer. I give myself a high five. You know what I'm saying? You got this girl, you know, and, and off I go. But I never thought about just standing 10, uh, you know, six feet away. Wow, that is so damn good. Okay. It changes your whole day. It changes. We think we think we know ourselves. Yes. We see our blemishes and defaults. It's not how people see us, guys. It's you'll be aghast listening to this of how people look up to you, how okay. you lead, how you inspire, how beautiful you are, how whatever a nice hair you've got, what you'll not realize that. But when we walk out knowing quite well that we look like this and not like this, then you get an idea. So the mood lifts straight away. You are attractive. You are amazing. You are a leader. You can succeed in anything you want to do. You have to start believing that because so anything good. else yeah. is false, guys. They're lying to you. And we found the key and want yeah. you to find the key. I must be the only person in the world that I don't want you to do as good as me. I want you to do better than me. Come on, Amen. guys. Amen. Amen. I mean, That's so on. good. So damn good. Good. Where have you been all my life, Dr. Rob? Okay. So the, the so it's 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 the exaggerated breaths, right? You said about 20 of them. Is that correct? Okay. And then uh going to the mirror, standing six feet, telling yourself you you love yourself, right? So was there another one or did I miss it? Those were the those were two, right? Two, the I love you, and then the teeth. Oh, and the teeth, right, changing your hands. That is something I learned a long time ago. And I actually try to be conscious about doing that so that I don't do everything subconsciously throughout my day. Yes. I do that on purpose. Yeah. I even drink on the opposite hand. Yes. I try to grab a pencil on the opposite hand. I try to do all of that. And when I'm overwhelmed, another thing I do is I pull back from my desk and I look for something blue or look for something pink or look for some, like I get my brain completely off of the monotony. That is so damn good. Oh, my goodness. Do, do you know, now that you are doing all of this amazing work and you're you're working with people and you're helping the one and all of that kind of stuff. Do, do you feel faith plays a big part in in you and your development and who you are today? I've never seen no atheists get sober, first of all. Secondly, let's get into the neuroscience, be honest. Okay, so the mind is energy. You can't see it, mm -hmm. feel touch it, it's energy inside the brain. Okay, well, let's take the brain away, set the matter away. This energy needs, has to urgently contact with another energy outside of you. Okay, mm -hmm. now we do some tests with people uh, and we, 
we, we stopped uh, 10 people in the room. Uh, and as we told him, he's talked to everyone, have a cup of tea, we'll pay you. What they didn't know is that there was two doctors, two mechanics, two road cleaners. You know, we, we paired them up, but they didn't know. Not even the doctor knew that another doctor in there. When, when a mechanic met a doctor, uh, the brain waves kind of curved a little bit, okay? As the day goes on, a doctor meets a doctor, it increased by 20%. But when a mechanic met a surgeon, they were both authentic in what they did and do it spiked to 100%. So mm -hmm. if your power in the mind connects with another power, okay, and we change in your pathways, like we've just said, our DNA changes. So it's vital that we have a power, capital P, greater than ourselves. I don't care if it's Uncle Jimmy, the universe, you know, it's got to be something that has an energy and a presence. Once your DNA changes, you're not the same person. So it's all about God guys mm -hmm, whatever mm -hmm. god there's three thousand five hundred gods just freaking pick one you know stop getting on your high horse well, I don't believe it. well fine go go die i don't care but the quicker you get some kind of faith in your life some kind of routine or something outside you can help you the easier this happens man so i, I would that. say 100 percent a hundred percent. Yeah, I, I believe that. I believe that too. I think that that has been the biggest catalyst in my life and in my growth. So I, I strongly believe that. So Dr. Rob, I mean, you are fascinating and so fun to speak to and so damn good at what you do. I've gotten so much out of this episode and it's it's almost ending, but I cannot believe it. I am I, I just am in love with what you're doing. So I know that people who are listening are probably like, holy crap, where has Dr. Rob been all my life? And how do I find this man? So you're going to have to give us that. Like, do you have a YouTube channel? You said you had a book. I do want to know about that. And like, where do people find you, follow you, work with you? Give me that stuff, man. Give it to me. So if you're just listening and, and not watching, I spell my name with two B's, R-O-B-B-K-E-L-O-Y.com. Dr. Rob Kelly in any search engine, you'll find all the platforms. I don't run the platforms, guys. The only way you can speak to me on a platform is Facebook Messenger. I only look at that. All the other platforms are done. But yeah, put it in any search engine. And here's, So I want to do two things on this show. Just decided. Okay, so this is the book. This is the girl that was taken off me at the ages one and three. OK, mm -hmm. this is the girl that, that I kept hostage for two days while I was drunken out of my mind with my one year old. She was three at the time. OK, when when the police broke down the door because they're not being fed for two days or changed diapers. Mommy got hold of this girl and they're walking down the path and she said to me three things. Daddy, daddy, please don't go. Daddy, daddy, please get better. And as it got to the iron gate, they opened the iron gate and it said, daddy, daddy, please stop drinking. It's the last thing she said to me. Wow. OK, yeah. so this book here, come find me. OK, you'll find me on social media. Send me a message. If you can't afford going on Amazon and get it, don't send me a message. I'll send you one. I'll sign it to your name. I'll pay for the package and you can have it on one condition that you pass this on to somebody else free of charge so they can read it. And the second thing I want to do for this show is this. If you're in the place that, that, that Nina and I talked about, OK, that desperate place of thinking of suicide, of thinking that you're never going to amount to anything, two one four six zero 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 two one zero is my personal cell phone number text me don't call i'm, I'm really busy or in the studio filming or something text me and i'll get back to you throughout the day and i will arrange a 15 minute pep talk with you that will change your freaking life and if it doesn't i'll send you a hundred dollars for wasting your time <laughs> All right. Talk about confidence and putting where you, your money where your mouth is, because the truth of the matter is, is, uh, you know, when somebody is going through that, they, they're not thinking about, oh, here, another program I got to pay for. So Dr. Rob is not even saying that to you guys. Like, I need you guys to really listen, like, listen up, listen up, sit up on your seat and listen up. Just like Dr. Rob said, gr you know, gr grab a pen and pad and listen. Guys, people care about you. And people really do. I and mean, Dr. Rob doesn't know you from a can of paint, right? And neither do I. But these conversations aren't just because me and, and, and Dr. Rob want to sit out here and look, look pretty. We're actually having a conversation because we want to impact you in some way. And maybe it's not you. Maybe it's a relative. Maybe it's a, a, a child. Maybe it's a, a, a friend. Maybe it's a neighbor. I don't know. But the truth is, is that your life and your story and the things that you learn are not for you to keep and die with. It is for someone else. 
everything we do is to impact the life of someone else, you know, and our privilege is to carry that to impact someone else. So what Dr. Rob said, he just gave you his number. I'll make sure to link, link that below. But I also want you to pick up this book, share the word, follow him and stop thinking you're alone in this because you are not a freaking loan. You are not alone. People are out here wanting to help you. Isn't that right, Dr. Rob? That's what we're it here is. for. Exactly. And, and the more you get into this, so let me get back. You'll be rewarded, guys, for your work, whether that be wealth, whatever. Uh, but you see this girl here and my one-year-old were taken away uh, four years ago after 28, 30 years. My, my Ellie star got in contact with me four years ago. She wow. said, Dad, I don't believe everything Mom told me. I want to see you. So by the time the phone call was down, my wife had already booked tickets, was on the red eye, was over there. I stood outside her house, all nervous and, and, you know, horrible feeling. She opened the door. We fell in each other's arms. She said, I've got something to show you, Dad. She called me Dad. She called me Dad. She walked me into her living room and she handed me my, my three-month-old granddaughter. Aww. She's my, now my lead therapist in my Manchester office. And you know something, youngest girl? Four weeks ago, she got in contact with me. She's coming over next month to visit. How it all comes you, you get, you know, if you think money's going to make you happy, you're wrong. It's an inside job. Unfortunately, it does help, of course. But listen, you'll be repaid back. If you help one person a day and change somebody's world, all that stuff is added up. And God will open doors for you never see. Amen. It's like when you, when you travel to work this morning, how many red cars you see? None. Go on tonight, spot every red car and count them. Oh, I've seen 20 red cars, Dr. Rob. That's amazing. That's what God wants to give to you. Yeah. But you've never been looking. You've yeah. been all in your own head, in self, 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 self. Look for the red cars from today, guys. So good. Oh. It's so good. Oh my God, Dr. Rob, I'm in love. Okay, thank you <laughs> so much. Seriously, thank you so much. This is the kind of conversations I like to have on Straight Talk. People that come and bring their worth and value for other people's worth and value. I just, I, for sharing. And also, I am super grateful to God and to everything about your daughters getting in contact with you and for you to build that relationship with them and the next generation. That is amazing. Good for you. Good for you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. I of do. course, Nina, for best podcast I've ever done. You're amazing. Great questions. You're fun to be with. I love you as well already. Thank you. Oh, so good. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and Dr. Rob. I told you, I mean, best humans on the planet, right? He is so good. I'm going to make sure to link all of his information below because I want you to understand that there is someone out here who really knows and has been there, done that, wrote a book about it. So I want you guys to really connect with people like Dr. Rob who really want to help you. Please, if you are not feeling like you got this or you can't do it or you're feeling alone or whatever, you're not. You're not alone. Stop letting those lies of the enemy come and try to destroy you. We are here to lift you up, to love on you, and to help you through all things. And you can also contact me, as you know. I'll link everything below, guys. All right? God bless you. I hope you have an amazing, amazing week. And please reach out to people who want to reach back out to you. This is Nina Perez. Straight talk, no sugar added. Until next time. Mm -hmm.